Today is Miss Nicole's last day working for us and so we are reminiscing and we're gonna answer some of your questions. Miss Nicole and Hannah and I have just been playing on Facebook and going through our old pictures, like way old pictures because really old pictures. we know each other from a really long time ago. Nine years. Nine years. Nine Man, and, and a half Tim almost. and I have been married for 10 years. We've been on YouTube for 10 years. And Miss Nicole, you've been like a part of that. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Tim and I moved to Minnesota. What hey, goodness, was that? Me. I guess 10 oh. years ago. Oh, thank you. About, yeah. yeah. So, uh, so nine and a half years ago, we moved to Minnesota. Yeah. And that's where Miss Nicole is from. Yeah. And so we met her, I think you were in sixth grade when we moved there. Something like that. Tim and I really haven't seen a whole lot of people from Minnesota since moving there. Um, but Miss Nicole actually moved down to the Cincinnati area as well, like a couple of hours away, the same year that we moved to Cincinnati. And so that was, like allowed us to continue our relationship and see each other pretty regularly. So she started college down here when we moved, and actually, you and your parents slept in our house before we did. <laughs> <laughs> I went for my college visit, um, the, I think it was the week before their spring break in March. Okay. On our last day, we came here because um, Tim and Nana were coming through, and so we helped them. I think we spent the night in the house. You guys yep. were in a hotel. Yeah. Then the next day, we moved them in half the day, and then like, I don't know, around noon or something, left. we left to go home. Yeah. So. Yeah. It was, it was a big day and fun and just the timing of it has been so cool like we've talked several times about like the timing of how God has just like interlinked our lives and everything and and the timing of coming down here to Cincinnati area to Nicole um, graduated like what you graduated was it just a year ago no a year and a half ago Man, it seems a lot longer than that I've had two kids since then <laughs> Yes. Feels like a long time. So you just yeah. so you graduated. Then you found out you were pregnant. Yeah. You're like, no, we need a part time. And then and then when we we're like when we were twins, we we're like, okay, we can't. There's no other option. Will you please come? So then there's a video of us over the summer when we were Miss Nicole worked at the same camp that the kids and I went to, and um and so at that camp we were like, we like officially asked, and you said yes. I did. <laughs> it's like a proposal. <laughs> So exciting. Well, it's a type of proposal. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> it's like, well, you commit to us for a year, yes. and she did, and today's the end of that year, so that's that's crazy. It so, is. Like, so one year ago tomorrow was when she started. September 1st. But I was here, here at least the week before September, yeah. the last week of August. Yeah, because we went to we went to Vlogger Fair. Tim and I um, went out to Vlogger Fair um, when we found out that we were having twin girls and your mom was here helping yes. watch the kids yes. while we were she gone. She got here before I did. Miss Nicole got to be, she was here for the last four months of my pregnancy. Yes. Which is no joke. How was that? <laughs> <laughs> that was, I mean, you got, to, was you got to see a hard to, pregnancy. Oh yes. But I, I like looking back at just what I did and what I do now. Like, it was I feel different. Like that was a lot different. Like at first, it was kind of just help out in the house a little bit, but kind of just play with the kids. More, yeah, it was more so like keep the kids busy, let them have some fun, and yeah. do that. And we got to we went to the pool like every day oh, yeah. my first week. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> and then the pool closed. It, the pool did close. <laughs> and then we went for a walk like every day. Yeah, went on bed rest, and so Nicole like took over the house pretty much. That was hard for me because that was like. It was hard to let go of stuff and control. I think that was the biggest thing was like, this is my health, like, and I can't do it. I need the help, but I don't want the help as much as I need it. So it was yeah. tough, but that Nicole, I mean, the reason why we chose Nicole was because like over the years of her being in school here, like she, you'd come about every other month to visit. Yeah. And so if not one or once, once a, a month. month, that's why we chose her because she got to know our house and you're always like good at like pitching in and helping and like learning how our house runs. Bed rest is over. The twins are born. You're still running the house. For because. yeah, well, your parents came for the first week. That's true. So then I think we got to do some other stuff where I did. Y'all kind of worked together uh, yeah. to get things done because I was still just out of commission. C sections are no joke. No. <laughs> from what I see. Oh my goodness, it was miserable. <laughs> oh. And then it was just a long adjustment to them being around. And then the move. Yes. So that was a big change. So it was your. 
hardest part of this last year? The hardest part. I think for me, just not being around family, I think was really hard for me. Favorite thing? Favorite thing. Of this last year? Um, I think favorite thing was probably, I was so excited that they were having twins. Like so excited because I always wanted So twins. like how miserable I was, Nicole was like equally that excited. Especially when they were here like, oh, I just, I held the babies. Like they would- You, you loved know. carrying both of them yes. at once. Really I carried like them two. around all the time as, yeah. as much as I could. And I would let, like I'd hold one until they fell asleep. You can like, hold one now if you want. <laughs> And now even like oh they're just so fun. They are. They're fun. They're like start talking and smiling at us. Thank you. <laughs> Today's the last official day. We're gonna have Nicole babysit for us um, once a week, so Tim and I can still have our date nights. But starting tomorrow, thankfully my mom is here. <laughs> But for the rest of the week. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but soon it's going to be me running it. But then Nicole's going to be around town for two more months. Um, and so I told Nicole, I was like, so if I really get in a jam, I'm going to call you. <laughs> so I'll have to tell Tim, like, we need to budget for like at least one or two days <laughs> for me to be like, come help. I'm mostly nervous about the laundry, folding laundry. I Nicole. love folding yeah, laundry. And I hate it. So it's been like perfect. Maybe I'll just come and hang out with you and be like, hey, I found, I, well, I brought some rent laundry. Well, movies and I'll come there we go. laundry. <laughs> I, that sounds good to me. <laughs> I'm happy with that. That's what we always do. And then learn. cooking dinner makes me nervous because Nicole's done a lot of our cooking this last year. We agreed on it one year and I'm glad that we have a couple months of transition time because um, I'll probably have some laundry for Nicole to fold when she babysits. <laughs> Hopefully not a week's worth of laundry to fold. <laughs> I'll work on it. I'll probably save the kids laundry though because that's my least favorite. If you're new to our channel, this is Miss Nicole. We won't have her around too much longer, but subscribe because it might be kind of interesting coming up soon to see <laughs> see if we survive or if we fall apart. Hopefully we survive. You'll Pray for us. <laughs> we upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so subscribe so you can check out those as we learn to be a family team of eight with two adults and six kids ages seven and under. With two adorable twins, that's one of them. The other one's sleeping. Hey, say I'm loud enough for both of us right now. Hey, who's that right there? Who's that? Hi. Zeke, are you sad Miss Nicole's going to be done? That's my favorite. Does that look fake or does that look real? It looks fake. I think it looks good. I think... Be honest. The last thing Dana needs is another thing to take care of, right? Like she's got so much to take care of already. I was like, another, a real plant? and they have real plants, but Tim was like, honestly? You don't need any more to take. <laughs> yeah, 